Good morning, good morning, Saints man here, small van driver, CX. Uh, it's Sunday morning, quarter to nine. Um, yeah, not feeling it at the minute. Uh, back spasming and in a bit of grief, but I've had it before and it's come back with a vengeance sort of last Thursday. So, but it don't stop me working because sitting down ain't too bad. And even lifting stuff, it's just standing. It just puts strain on it, but hey, you don't want any more grief. Um, last week, uh, fuel prices have gone through the roof. In fact, my cheapest fuel card was my BP card, which hasn't been the cheapest card for months and months. And that was the cheapest at 120 last week, and it's going up again. So, But it is going up at the pumps for normal, if you're paying normal over the pumps, but that's what it is. Just did three days last week because I had Wednesday, I was at the hospital with my eye, uh, again this eye which is blind and they keep checking to make sure that nothing's wrong with the other eye and the rent is 100% which is really good, means I can keep driving. Uh, in fact he's very happy because he did laser surgery and it all worked out fine so that was good. And Thursday the van was in for a service which Darren Dud, uh, does do a brilliant job again and I had it back Friday. Lovely and touch wood. He said it's all good. Might need some pads at the next service, but that's about it. Anyway, let's go back. Monday, uh, I did. I hadn't got a job booked in, nothing at all. And I didn't get a job. I started, I didn't get a job till half past nine. And it was from Daventry, somewhere I've been a fair few times. And it was two pickups. Well, it was one pickup going to Banbury. So I quoted the price, um, nothing special, and on the way to the pickup, I was virtually there, the shipper phoned me, and I thought she was going to phone, so it was cancelled, but she said there's actually another box there going to a different address in Banbury, would I take that as well if I could get it on the van, because it was down, believe it or not, as a medium wheelbase van. I said, well, let me have a look, I'll see if I can get it on, she said, if you can't, just give us a ring, I'll have to put it on the CX, and believe it or not, I got it on. It was a massive box, but it was more lengthways, and it's okay. My van fits it, so uh, I got it on. So I got two pickups from Banbury, and to be fair to her, she paid me the same again, even though I was only a mile apart. So, you know, she gave me double money, so it started off really well, that did, and did that job easy. It was only 13 miles from Daventry to Banbury, and then... There weren't nothing. It was really quiet. And there was jobs coming on there, but I was a fair distance from them. And there was one in Northampton going to Ham's Hall. And I thought, well, I'll quote on it. And I'll, I'll just quote the 30 miles, which it was, it was, well, it's 27 miles or something like that. Put that in with it. And it's a shipper I know really well, Northampton shipper. And he did phone me up and he says, Dave, you're right to do this. I said, you know where I am? You know, I'm 40 minutes away. Yeah, that's fine. He says, he said, that's no problem. Right. So, yeah, I took that, and that was a box, uh, one big box, which was going to a car uh, place, uh, no problem whatsoever, and parked up. <coughs> and again, very slow, not a lot happening. And then the job come on from Rugby, which I was a good distance from, going to Corby. And it was an envelope, one envelope. And again, I was a distance from it, but I quoted pretty good money on it. I wanted to get home. Corby's only 25 miles from my house. And I got that as well. Uh, I'd quoted on three or four jobs, didn't get them uh, from around there, that area. And then this one, I, which I didn't expect to get, I got. So that was Monday. I managed to get three jobs, started at nine, and I was home at quarter past four. So it was a short day. Uh... But it was okay money. It was all right. I was only 30 quid short of target. So I'll take that. And then Tuesday, I got a job from uh, a customer just down the road, which is the closest I'll ever get pick up because it literally is, you go out the gate of where we live, the security gates, uh, which is one mile. We're, we're one mile from the security gates on the park and it's 400 yards. That's all it is to the, nearest industrial estate it's a very small industrial estate and he gives work out and it is early start 
and you don't know when it is, like I said, until the middle of the night, and then he puts it and sends it. If I wake up, I look at it, I phone him up, and I, he gives me it. And there was two jobs. One, believe it or not, going to Banbury, and there was another one going to near Yarmouth. Now, I thought I'd take the one to Banbury, because in Yarmouth, I didn't think I'd get anything from their back, and I'd be stuck, because I wanted to get home. So I took the one to Banbury, uh, pound and mile, it worked out, which is fine. But I'm in Banbury then for, and it was to the hospital in Banbury. I was there for s seven o'clock and <coughs> now <nowt. coughs> absolutely nothing. <coughs> and there was nothing for a while. In fact, there was nothing at all. Um, you have to just go, excuse me, I've got a cold sore here. Bloody awful. But Zovrax is helping. Anyway, I managed to get a job from Northampton to Oxford and Whitney, which is car parts. And that was pick up at 10 o'clock. So I quoted on that, knowing it would be nice and simple, which it was. And the one that I've done this route before for them a long while ago. It's only two drops and they're not even in Oxford. They're north of Oxford. And the Whitney one is not even in Whitney. It's near the Northampton side of Whitney. So it's not too bad. <clears throat> but while I was sat there, before that, while I was sat there in Banbury, there was a job on there from uh, Northampton, Brackmills, to the industrial estate where I started in the morning, literally across the road. But it was pick up at six o'clock at night and deliver three miles. And I quoted on it and got it. Because I thought, if I'm going to be around that way anyway, I've got to get home. If I'm going to go home early, I'll just go back out and do it. Or if I'm on my way home, it's just gone the way home anyway. So I'd got that job booked in for later on in the day. So I did the car parts. I didn't want to travel too far from Northampton, really, in case I got nothing else. And I sat at, uh, I went to Bista Services and sat at Bista Services. And I thought, well, I ain't too far from home. Uh, it was still on the list. I've got about four or five hours to kill. And luckily, a job popped up from Daventry which I weren't too far away. Where I collected from on Monday, there was a job there collecting Tuesday, go to Milton Keynes. And it was a really, really big box. It just fitted in my van. And I quoted normal money and got it, got to the Daventry, picked it up, dropped it in Milton Keynes. I'd been to the place before, knew where that you had to go around the back, all sorted. And then on the way home, I decided to come home because I was still an hour and 20 minutes early. Came home, had a cup of tea, sorted my kit out and then just popped out down the road to Brack Mills, picked this and it was 11 trays of letters going to Royal Mail. And uh, yep, dropped them in Royal Mail. See someone, I used to work for Royal Mail and believe it or not, there was someone still working there when I left. And I left in 2000, 2001, something like that. I left, I did 20 years there. Uh, but yeah, and sure enough, I see someone who I used to work with. Incredible. Uh, still working, still hating it, but hey. So that was good. So I did four jobs. Wasn't great money. There was no great money in any of them, really. But it was okay. Wednesday, like I say, I had off and did a bit we had to do. And Thursday, the van got serviced. I went out on my motorbike, had a real, on the fast one, on the Blackbird, had a real... Route Raz Round ended up at uh, Touchdown Cafe in Wellsbourne and then went back through Banbury and yeah, just had a really good day out and picked the van up about six o'clock. He left the keys in his normal spot and we went and picked the van up already. Friday, wow, my back weren't too clever Thursday anyway. And going out on a bike where I'm, it's very similar to this bike, a little bit more comfortable than this bike. Uh, my blackbird is but it's still leaning forward and my back weren't feeling it but adrenaline on a bike so when I got it Friday my back was not that brilliant but again the job down the road pick up at five o'clock and I've got two jobs out of it I've got one going to Upper Hayford which was an old air base which I got one box for there and that was a bit of a faff trying to get in there find it find what hangar it was it was unmanned 
uh, and he told me just take a photo. He told me exactly where to put the goods, and I found it. Take a photo and send a photo so they know it's been delivered, and it's all good. So we did that, and we got the second job on, which was in Dudley, which is a good area normally, uh, West Midlands. Mm. And we got that delivered. That was to a vet, and it was a small box, and that was delivered. So that got me a really good start. It's eight o'clock, and I'm already got really good money. And then there was a job from Merry Hill to Nottingham, and that was with a shipper who uh, I would do a fair bit of work for. Got their own, uh, not through the CX. It, they got their own, they got they got their own app, which works out fine. And yep, we sent the job over through the app, and believe it or not, it was picking up Merry Hill Shopping Centre from the management centre. Uh, and I've got to phone this lady, and she brought down a six-foot, well, a life-size cardboard cutout of Adam Peaty. I kid you not. Uh, and that went back to Nottingham, and it went back to their headquarters, the swimming headquarters in Nottingham. They were returning them. They'd had them on promotion. So that was somewhat different. And on the way back, the same shipper who's got his own, got their own um, app, then phoned me to say they'd got a job back, if I was interested, back from Nottingham, not five minutes from where I was, going back to Birmingham. I said, yep, we can do that as well, and the money's okay. So we did two jobs. We went to Nottingham, and then we went back to Birmingham. That put me over target for the um, for the day. So I thought, well, that's it. I wanted to get home. I didn't want to be mega late on a Friday. And we're visiting my auntie who's in hospital. We visit her pretty much every night for an hour. She's really poorly, really poorly. Lovely lady, but she's struggling. And yeah, there's an eventuality, but it's just horrible to see. But we go in and see her, uh, me and my wife. And yeah, it's just a visitor, really. And I wanted to get back and visit her. Visiting's up till eight o'clock, but I didn't want to go that sort of time. I wanted to go earlier. So I thought, well, that would be it. I was in the centre of Birmingham. And I started coming out of centre of Birmingham in traffic, thinking that would be it for the day. And that would have been fine. But then there was a job from Birmingham to Coventry. And I looked at it on the CX, and I was only a mile from it. And it was going to Coventry, right in the centre of Coventry. But right, I thought, I'm going that way home, virtually. So I quoted. Uh, quoted quite high on that one, actually. What did I quote on that one? Let have a little look. Yeah, it was like, 17 miles and I quoted two pound a mile so and got it and it was picking up and it was just some wire from a plumber's merchant going to a bank right in the center of Coventry um, no problem they're renovating it and they need these wires to the suspending ceilings easy peasy so I thought well that's that's me done now because Coventry I can ru run home from there and I got a phone call from uh a shipper that I worked for earlier in the week. And there was a job from Daventry to Rushden, which, again, is virtually going home. So I've done five jobs. This is going to be job number six, if I got it. And I quoted on it. And he happy with the money. And it was one pallet going to pick up in an engineering company in uh, Daventry, which I was going to go roughly that way home anyway. Instead of going the M45, I picked up the A45 into Daventry. Picked up the pallet um, straight away, though, already, and jumped back on and went straight down to Rushden. And I dropped that in Rushden to make job number six. So Friday was really a good day. Although my back was not brilliant all day, it made up for it. It made a very profitable day, very profitable. Uh, six jobs, and yeah, I did 12 hours. By the time I got back um, to where we live, it was quarter past five. My wife was waiting for me at the gate. I jumped my van and we went and visited my auntie. So we got it all done. It was a full on day, but it was, everything seemed to click that day, apart from my back, which weren't doing much at all. And that was my week. So ended up being a really good week. Um, the first two days, Monday and Tuesday, were not brilliant, obviously, but then Friday was made up for it and got me over target for the week on three days. I did 745 miles, I worked 30 hours, well just under 31 hours actually, 30 and three quarters, and I did 22 hours driving, 
over three days. And my before VAT, I did £610.80, which when you put 20% VAT on is £732.96. You give the VAT man his 10%, it works out £659.67 exactly for three days. Which, if you break down daily, is £219.89, let's say £220. So, yeah, good three days. Um, like I say, fuel prices are going up and up, which is slightly concerning because they go up quicker and they come down. I'll put it that way, but not like you can do about it. Costco is a guys use Costco. We haven't got a Costco around here, so it's just as simple for me to use fuel nearest one. Again, next week, I'm, I'm going to tell you what my fuel prices are next week. My fuel price, my cheapest fuel next week, which his BP card again just is now 123. So you put 24.6 on that is 147, just under 148. But fuel is still probably two or three pence more than that, but it's going back up again. Good week. Hopefully, I've got five days next week. Uh, I could do with doing five days. I hope my back improves i've got eye briefing my wife's rubbing eye briefing on my back i'm taking tablets uh, and it's manageable it's just like it was before it takes time and it just goes back but when it comes on it oh it's grief but let's keep this video a bit shorter really thanks for the subscriptions by the way should have said that at the start i had 899 last week and i said i'm one short and now I think it's 911 so big thanks if you subscribe like the guys on the youtube channels better. like they all say it doesn't cost you anything if you want to hear me talking and rambling on i don't edit it i don't i don't know how to i probably could if i worked it out but i just do it like this um and then just i don't even look back over it for any mistakes so there's probably some but hey but if you like it if you do watch it and don't subscribe just push the subscribe button because my next target i'm going to try and head for a thousand a thousand what so i've got to find another yeah another 90 89 people who want to click that button which would be great but i say hope everyone else is doing all right hope you're making money any questions i do try and answer them i do not answer them straight away because i tend not to look at the uh youtube every day so it may take a day to answer but i do try and answer them honestly i've had a few questions last week which was quite good um what insurance companies do i use uh, was one question which i answered insurance is going through the roof by the way let me tell you that all over the place in fact everything's going through the roof let's be honest so just have a look around see if you can get a deal but i don't think the real deals are out there anymore everything's going up so do you put your prices up i don't know if you do do you work it's a tough one my average pence per mile oh that's another thing last week my average pence per mile was really quite high in fact it my, every mile i did last week worked out at 88 pence a mile which for a small van well it's a minivan obviously small van i think it is i think it's pretty good but it needs to be now it needs to be like that it really does to sort of keep you keep your head above water but like i say sunday morning we're going to pop out uh going over with me daughters they've come back off holiday i was going fishing but the weather looked pants so that didn't happen take care speak next week